Hi everyone! I'm back from vacation! <laughs> if you're new to my channel, hello, I'm Alex. I'm an artist and illustrator based in the Bay Area. I've been on vacation for three weeks. <laughs> I actually just got back yesterday, so my voice is a little hoarse, but I am not sick. I promise you, I'm not sick. Or at least, you know, with the bad sickness. But yeah, I just got back from a three week trip, two weeks in the Philippines and one week in Japan. And I wanted to share with everyone all of the stuff I bought, <laughs> which is a lot. <laughs> mostly from Japan because the Philippines leg of my trip was mostly for family, just hanging out and not really going out to do a lot of things. We did go to like Bohol, and had like a mini vacation there. I'll insert some clips now of just like the beach and stuff. But we were only there for like a few days. We did ATVing, swimming, all that good stuff. But Japan is where I really spent a lot of money. <laughs> I did give myself a budget though. I had a thousand dollars worth of yen and that was my budget for food, transportation, and pasalubo, <laughs> which are souvenirs. I unexpectedly, not unexpectedly, went ham at a bunch of different stationery stores. So that is what this video is today. It's just all of the different stationery stores and bookstores that I went to in Japan and all of the stuff that I bought related to art and then a bunch of other like little things that I bought for friends and family and bonus at the end I did buy a few things in the Philippines because we stayed in like this shopping area called BGC for a few days and I bought some stationery and books there so I'll show that part at the end but if you are going on a trip to Tokyo anytime soon and you want to get some cute stationery, here's just a bunch of places that I visited in different parts of Tokyo and all the stuff I got. So let's start off with store number one. I'm going to do this chronologically, meaning where I visited first and last. The first stop is Ginza. And at Ginza, I went to the store called Itoya. This is a huge stationary arts and crafts store and I believe the top floor had a cafe but it is in Ginza which is like a high-end shopping district in Tokyo. I took some secret footage because I understand in a lot of these places you are not supposed to film. So I took my phone and I had a little pop socket on it, a Miffy pop socket and I was holding it like on my belly. Pretend this is my belly like this. But the first floor of Itoya was like Disney related? I don't know what the collaboration was, if that's like a just a temporary collaboration, but yeah, not much for me to buy at the bottom floor because it was really fancy Disney things and I'm a huge Disney fan. I actually went to Tokyo Disney Sea, but there wasn't anything like screaming my name on that floor. So here's the bag of all the stuff that I bought. I just kept everything in here during transit so it's easy and in one spot. Packaging was super cute. I honestly forgot what I got, so <laughs> let's open the little bag first. Oh, I got this cute little shopping tote that has the Itoya logo on it because I wanted kind of a memorabilia of my time there. <laughs> so I got this. Let's open it actually. I just thought the colorway was super cute. Oh, so nice. Whoa, it's, it's actually pretty huge. Just a cute little foldable tote that I could use as a shopping bag. And then I got some stamps. <laughs> I got this OK Froggy stamp, this tulip stamp, which is really pretty, and this smiley face stamp. And I'm just gonna use these for like 
packaging and stuff on the envelopes that I send out with orders because they're just very universal and pretty. Those are these. I'll stamp those in a second. And then I also got ink pads. I got a midnight which is kind of a dark deep blue and then wisteria which is a pretty purple. And then I got a miffy washi tape. I have succumbed to the miffy universe. I'm a miffy girl now and I bought a ton of miffy things. I was a fan of her before but after going to Japan I'm an even bigger fan. Let me actually open this so you can see without the glare. Here, so cute. That was in this tiny bag and then I bought a couple of notebooks and cards. Just put these over. The packaging is just so nice. Look at this. So cute. So I got a bunch of postcards that I really liked the design of. First is this little girl with the sunflower dress eating shaved ice. I thought she was super cute. That one's for me. And so is this peaches. I love peaches. Are, these are peaches, right? Are they nectarines? But again, I thought this was really pretty and I want to put it on my wall. Same thing with this. Yeah, I went kind of postcard crazy because I needed some, you know, more postcards to fill my huge wall. And I thought these were really nice. These I got as gifts. So this one I got for my boss's daughter. And I think it's just really cute and simple. It's just a bird in the window with the flowers. This one I got for my boss. This is a chrysanthemum or my trippin'. And then I got this one for my coworker. So these three are gifts. And then I got a bunch of stickers. Clear stickers again for packaging. This one, I was really gravitating towards all the floral in the shop and there was a ton. And then the strawberry set it was really pretty. And again, I'll use these stickers in a mix of just like for my sketchbooks and packaging. <laughs> I got this set of mixed color pencils. I've been looking for these kind of rainbow color pencils since I've started to draw more traditionally. I just thought it'd be fun to have like a cool rainbow sketch. So I found these and I'm assuming they're for children because they come in this, but sometimes that's the best option. And it comes with a little sharpener. I just thought it was super cute. So I bought that. And then the last thing I bought was a Midori sketchbook. And this one is a dotted grid sketchbook. Can never have too many sketchbooks. And lately I've been finding myself wanting to write things down on physical paper more than like on my iPad and stuff. I don't know why I feel more inspired that way, but I just got another notebook for that general reason. And yeah, it's just pretty. So those are all of the things that I got from Itoya in Ginza. Quite a lot, <laughs> quite, quite a lot. But surprisingly, I only spent $100 there, which is not bad for me considering I'm a big shopper. In all of these stationery stores, I spent at most $100. I think the only store that I spent more than that was Loft, which is in Shibuya. And that's because I bought makeup too. And the makeup was the expensive part. Moving on to store number two, which was in Shinjuku. The second store that I went to is called Sekaido. And again, this is in Shinjuku. I don't know how far from the train station it was, but from our hotel, probably like 10 minutes away, a 10 minute walk away. I did some damage in this store. <laughs> this store was a straight on art supply store and I was able to get a bunch of things. Again, I did a secret recording. So all the footage you'll see is me doing the phone on my tummy method. <laughs> The Sakaido bag is so big, it doesn't fit in frame. But here it is, and I'm gonna start taking stuff out. Let's open the first pack. Again, check out the packaging, super cute. 
As you can see, I bought more gouache and more of the Holbin works. These were much cheaper than buying in America. They were actually 260 yen a piece, like less than $2 for sure. If you could see over here, I have the same gouache and I buy these from Blick Art Store Arch in San Francisco and they're almost like, I think five to $7 for the same size. So I got these for half the price, at least half the price. And they had a bunch of colors that I've never seen before. So I got a lilac, a pink, metallic. I think these will be cool. Light blue, ultramarine. Do I have ultramarine? Oh, I already had that, but <laughs> I just got another one. <laughs> Horizon blue. Ooh, this leaf green was really nice. It's like a neonish green. Metallic green, another light green. Just a bunch of fun colors. Coral red, orange. Surprisingly, colors that I didn't already have, rose violet, lemon yellow, and light magenta, which has paint on it, and I don't know where that came from. I like hopped on this sale <laughs> and brought these home so I could eat some more. And I'm very excited to have these and all these new fun colors. Okay, next one. This is soft. I don't remember what this is. Oh, yes. So I bought a few pastel crayons from this brand, is that French? I just wanted to try out some oil pastels in these fun colors rather than getting like an expensive set because for some reason all of the oil pastels out there were really expensive and I don't know if it's just because I haven't used these in so long that I don't know the pricing. <laughs> But it was cheaper for me to like buy a few, see if I even like these, and then maybe in the future get a nice set. I really like these colors and thought I'd have, you know, primary colors plus a mix of my two favorite colors, which are purple and green. So I got those and I'm going to test these out as well. Another bag. I believe these are gift cards again or postcards. <laughs> I just saw the first set of stickers. <laughs> Look at this guy. I got these funny character stickers. I don't know who he is, but it's so cute. It's like a duck with a hat and a turtle shell. Is this a turtle? No, it has to be a duck. But I thought it was so cute. So I got these <laughs> just because they're funny. I got more of these floral stickers. These are really pretty. So I got these and then I got a card for one of my friends who's having a baby. I'm gonna save that. Then I got a bunch of prints. I got this whale one for my best friend because we are big BTS fans. We are ARMY. So the whale is important to us. <laughs> and I just thought she'd like this. So I got that for her. Some of these I want to give as gifts, but I don't know to who like this seal and penguin one is really cute and i'm trying to figure out what friend would like this if any would like it or i would keep it but just super cute same thing with this one i wanted to give to my sister they really like lucky cats let me give this one to her this one is for me because i love elephants they're my favorite animal and it's a pink elephant which is so cute. There's that one. And then again, I told you, I am now a Miffy girl. And this simple Miffy with the balloon is so cute and so graphic that it has to be on my wall. I kind of went crazy with the stickers out here. I didn't realize I did that. But since I bought all these different planners, I thought it would be nice to have stickers to use. See this masking schedule seal? So these are for planners and calendars specifically. <laughs> And I love hedgehogs. Then I got this one, which is a daily event schedule seal. And it's just a bunch of Shiba Inus, which is my favorite dog brand. Brand? Which is my favorite dog breed. <laughs> and they're super cute. I also got one that is chicks. Also very, very cute. I don't even know what this one is. It's like miscellaneous animals, but I thought they were cute. I really liked that date one and this drive one. And then I have gone stamp crazy as well after being in Japan. I bought a lot of stamps everywhere. 
<laughs> so here's more. Again, I am now a Miffy girl. Here's a Miffy stamp. I will test these out to show you. Oh, I got another Miffy stamp. I don't even remember. Here is the other stamp. Another Miffy stamp. This one is another frog stamp. I thought it was just super cute. And then this one is an envelope stamp. Again, for packaging purposes. And then I got two more washi tapes. These were just really pretty. They have gold leaf in them, which is really pretty. And they're just like a floral design. So that's one. And then the other one's pretty similar, but it has rabbits. So here is the other one. It has rabbits and strawberries and flowers. And it's super cute. So those are the two washi tape I got from there. And then lastly, I got a bunch of books. Well, not a bunch, like two books. These are reference books. The first one I got is this 80s girly magazine ad collection. Let me actually open so you can see. So here is the book. The cover is already everything. <laughs> and it just has a bunch of different girly ads from the 80s. And I, the purpose that I would find in this book in general, I think color inspiration, composition inspiration, content inspiration. I think everything. It's just like the aesthetics are beautiful and so cute and fun. So I bought this because I thought it was really, really cute and interesting and I haven't gone through everything yet, but it's just nice. I like to collect these inspiration books just when I don't know what to draw and I don't want to look through Instagram for things to draw. I like having books readily available and this one is right up my alley. So that's one book. And then the other book is this book that you can't even see in full frame but it's called Vitamin Color. Okay, so I opened the book or took the plastic off and here is the artist information. Three Kakulemon? Am I saying that correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I follow them on Instagram and Twitter. And then I saw the book at Sakaido and I was like, boom, beautiful, perfect, everything. I love everything. I have so many different illustrators books. So this will be perfect to add to my collection. And again, I just use for inspiration when I don't know what to draw. Everything is beautiful. I love everything. <laughs> don't want to give too much spoilers, but this is another book that I bought in Japan. I think I bought a total of four, five, six, eight books on my trip. So here's the first two and they're beautiful. <laughs> the last thing that I bought from Sakai though is another Midori sketchbook. <laughs> And this one's a blank one. The one I got from Itaya is dotted. This one's blank. And now I have two of those. <laughs> I think I bought one from another store too. We'll see, we'll see. That was all the Sakaido stuff. So those are all the things that I bought in Sakaido. It was a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> the next place I went to was Kamakura. And this was a nice like kind of beach town. I'm assuming south of Tokyo, but it's near where our friend Austin used to live for a year when he was studying abroad in Japan and he wanted to show us this cute little town. And I wasn't really planning on buying anything here, but we walked into a bookstore and I bought some books. So, so yeah, I think it was just called bookstore, if I'm not mistaken but you'll see the secret footage that I have at this bookstore too. It was super cute. It was nice and windy in Kamakura, which was a change from everywhere else in Tokyo that was like burning my skin <laughs> because it was so hot and humid. That was really nice just to be in this area for a little bit. But let me show you the books I got. Here's the first book that I bought, Making and Visuals illustration making book I cut art of Soryu and I believe they only have a Twitter I don't think they have an Instagram but there's some how-to in here and art <laughs> as you can see which again just nice to have for inspiration the second book that I bought is illustration 2023 and I love these illustration books. I have Illustration 2020 and I really enjoyed all the different artists in there. It's basically like a collection of different illustrators and artists. The nice thing is that 
If you go to the top of the page, it'll have their Twitter information, email, Instagram, the tools that they use, all that good stuff. So there's always a way to find the artist, support the artist. I haven't gone through this one yet, but there are a bunch of artists in here that I follow. If I don't follow them, it's a nice way to just go ahead and follow them after seeing their art and like falling in love. All of these are wild and I just like to support other artists. So I have this one now, Illustration 2023, and actually you'll see it later, but I did buy another illustration book in the Philippines. So I'll show that one in a little bit. I bought two more books from this bookstore. So I bought four in total. This is the third book that I bought. It is Illustration Scenes of Korea. So this is a bunch of Korean artists. Similar to Illustration 2023. And I follow a ton of these artists. I do follow Rowan. It's another inspiration book with a bunch of beautiful illustrations. And then same thing with the last book. This one is called New Girls Illustration. And again, more artists. Oh, so pretty. Again. I will be following every single artist in all of these if they have an Instagram or Twitter. Even the front page is so pretty. This one got a little damaged in transit, but it's okay. It'll flatten because I have a million books to flatten. Here is that stack. And I don't know where I'm gonna put these because I don't have space for anything. But I wanted these so bad, so I got them. Very happy to have these books. So that's everything that I got in the Kamakura bookstore. Moving on to the next and last store. It is Loft, which was in Shibuya. I went overboard at Loft. <laughs> Mostly because it was like the hottest day that we were there in Shibuya and we like hated it. We hated it outside. There was too many people. I was burning. It smelled bad because of the gas in the cars. So yeah, that was one thing. And I found solace in Loft and stayed there for like two hours. <laughs> so I did a lot of damage in that time. I wouldn't say like two hours. I'd say maybe an hour at most hour and a half because I had to like do the tax-free stuff at the end. I bought a ton of stationery and gift cards and then I bought a lot of makeup for myself and my sister and friends. So let's show you all that. <laughs> Okay, so I got these things in Loft, and I'm gonna try to separate them so that I'm only showing the stationery first, but as you can see, I have a bunch of random stuff in here too. And I'll show that later. 
<laughs> so I got a bunch of stickers and postcards from Loft. Not a lot of stationery because I bought more makeup there and more random stuff there, but this is the first sticker I got. It is an axolotl with a helmet. I just bought this for my sketchbook. I bought a ton of stickers for my sketchbook. This is another one. This is a train station ticket. I bought this as like a memento of all the freaking tickets we had to buy. <laughs> and then I got this little smiley flower, which is cute. Of course, I had to get a Miffy sticker. I am a Miffy girl. I will say that every time. And then I got this Sumo post-it sticker thing for my brother-in-law, my sister's boo. Then I got her the corgi butt version. Those are presents. And then again, I got a ton of postcards that I'm either going to keep or give away to. So there's this one, which is just a bunch of sushi for the cat. This one has swans. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to say about these other than I really like them and that they're super cute. The strawberry milk one, I'm keeping. I love strawberry milk. This one's really cute too, these stamps. I like the color palette. This one's so pretty. Also, very simple color palette, but the print itself is so like fun and detailed. This one's for me also because aliens are real and it's confirmed and I want to be friends. <laughs> so those are that. I might give like these two away because I'm not in love with these two. Same thing with this one. These three might be giveaways for friends or family. These three are all me. <laughs> I really like this alien one. It's so cute. And then, thank God, I thought it was another Midori one, but it's just a weekly diary planner. It has, are these Lily of the Valley? Lily of the Valley on there. And then I got these like custom stickers which is really cool so you could just plop them in a blank notebook or regular notebook and you have a calendar for next year and it's in a super cute design so that is all of the stationary stuff that I got and that was everything I got at loft I try to just stick with stationary but the makeup always gets me Especially if like some of my favorite K-pop idols endorse the makeup. If Momo likes this lipstick, I'ma like that lipstick too. But yeah, those were the four different stores that I went to in Tokyo. And I'll have the links to the stores in my description below if you're planning a trip and you want to know exactly where these stores are. I have some bonus items that aren't stationary but things that I bought in Japan and I will show you them now. A bunch of the stuff comes from... The Disney store, Sanrio, Don Quixote, <laughs> which is like their everything store. What else? Oh, I went to the Godzilla store and got the best tote ever. <laughs> I will show you that in a second. I don't know where else I shopped, but I'll show you everything else that's like secondary and not stationary. Basically, this is the Pasalubong section of <laughs> my video. And then I will show what I got from the Philippines. If you're still here, it's bonus time. <laughs> and this is just all the other random things that I got from random places. This is all the other stuff that I got from Loft. As you can see, this is Kobe's. He really wanted this dinosaur gummy because he said he'd had it when he was a little kid and he remembers them being really good. So he got that. And he also got this trolley big burger. So I have to go give these to him right now. <laughs> I am personally not a gummy person. I am a chocolate and like cookies and sweets, like pastries. So gummies are like, they're okay to me. So these are all him. And then everything else in here is makeup. Ugh, I'm gonna get back into my makeup art, guys. I miss it, but also a suspense. But Ramen is one of my favorite makeup brands. So when they had them at Loft, I was like, oh no. I swatched all of these different like these are glitter eyeshadows they're so similar but so different at the same time so I had to get every color so here is white hole I don't like that name moonlight and coral saturn all of these lipsticks are not for me I bought them with the intention of giving them to my sister my mother-in-law myself some of my friends maybe <laughs> but I don't remember what's what oh these are actually mascaras, and I bought one for myself and one for my sister. They are, are these a Tude? Yeah, these are a Tude house. Haven't tried them, haven't heard anything about them, but they were really nice and endorsed by Kazua from La Seraphim. Espoir. I think I bought this one for my sister, 
but I don't know. I bought an eyeliner pen for myself. This one is like a glitter pen. I'm gonna try that out. More lasting melting balm. Try a fake oh, these I saw on Instagram and I couldn't find them in Korea when I went last year, but I found them at Loft. So I bought a bunch of different colors. This one is Kaya Fig, Nougat Sand, and Mauve Whip. What is this one? I think this one, Judy Doll. This is another lip jelly. I'm very much into glosses and like soft finishes. These are all mine. Anything that's matte, I give to my mother-in-law or sister because I don't really like the matte, matte look anymore. I got three different colors in this too. Jelly three, jelly four, and jelly two. Oh no, I bought four of these. Oh my God. Oh, I bought all <laughs> one, two, three, four. Damn, I should not have done that, but when you're in the moment, you're in the moment. And then I got these Won jung lip stickers. These were the ones endorsed by Momo from Twice. So I got two different colors. Those are all the lipsticks I bought. I also got this onigiri mold. Prior to going to Japan and the Philippines, I was making onigiri like twice, sometimes three times a week. Now that I have these, they will keep their shape. So that was one purchase. This one I got for my friend. It wasn't from Loft. This was from Don Quixote, which is a big everything store. She asked me for a mascara, so I tried to find a good one for her. Hopefully it's good. Hopefully she likes it. This was from Loft for sure. Again, I'm a Missy girl. <laughs> So I got a Missy keychain. I actually tried to win this in a crane game and couldn't. So <laughs> I saw it in Loft and I bought it. She's so cute. Let me show you the cutest thing that I got from Loft. Ah! <laughs> I got this felted Missy plushie. Oh my God. It was the last one in stock and I had to get her because look how freaking cute she is. I'm a Miffy girl, guys. I'll keep saying it. Keep saying it. And she's so sweet and so cute. I wanna give her a hug. Everything about her is perfect. But I also got this aloft. Miffy, 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 Miffy. I'm obsessed now. It's not good, but I'm obsessed. Other random things from Loft are a set of rainbow chopsticks. So I'm actually going to give these to my friends, like couples. Because I also bought these chopstick holders and I know all of my friends know how to use chopsticks and do use chopsticks. This one I got for my sister and her boo. Sumo in this great position. There's another one. I bought pairs basically based on couples. So <laughs> here's another one. Got this for my sister's boo. So that's one pair. And then this one is just for an individual friend. It's Onigiri. It's super cute. Oh, this one's for my best friend. It is Taiyaki. We always get Taiyaki together. So that's why I got that for her. This one's for my other best friend. She loves mushrooms. So I got her a mushroom one. This one is for my friend's husband. So they get the mushroom and toast combination. Oh, this one is for my friend's boyfriend. I think they will go along with their home decor. So I got them Sakura. Assuming this is Mount Fuji in a mountain. So that is another pair. This is... <sighs> this one's funny. This one's for my best friend's boyfriend. Hot dog on a, on a pan. I don't know why. It reminds me of the Philippines more than Japan does, but or than it does Japan. So that one's for them. And I got a set of earrings. I just thought these were really pretty. I liked the color. It was like chocolate and vanilla. I think that's everything from Loft. I think. I don't know. I think. <laughs> so now I'm gonna share just random stuff from random places and hopefully I'll remember where they come from. This is one. I got this Kirby keychain from the Nintendo store in Shibuya. I went to the Pokemon Center in Shibuya, but they had the Nintendo store there as well. So I got this super cute Kirby keychain. <laughs> also got this Kirby in a crane game. This is not the one I was aiming for. I was aiming for one that was a painter, but this guy fell instead. Still cute. I also got this gotcha from the Studio Ghibli store in Kamakura. So outside of the Kamakura station, there was a Ghibli store. It was super cute. And then a friend actually bought this for me. 
because I did not have a 500 yen coin, but he did. Okay, so I took it out of the plastic and then just go to open it. And, oh yes, I got the best one. <laughs> this is the gotcha portion of it. Um, what belongs on the head, because it could either be a frog or, oh, these two is a good one. Mini Totoro and then, what's your name? The little girl from Totoro. Sick. This is the one I actually wanted. I figured it out and it's so cute. So I got the next few things from the Sanrio store. These are all for my best friends. And each of us is like one of these personalities. Kuritama, Azmaru, Cinnamon Roll, Hangyodan. And he makes me laugh, He's so funny. And then <laughs> this one I got for myself. Kogimuno. There's five of us. So I got all of these from the Sanrio store, but I should have got these from Don Quixote instead because they were much, much cheaper there. But they're all cute nonetheless. And then I got more Sanrio stuff, but these I won in the crane games. So here's a My Melody that I won. And then another Hangyodan with a little hat. I also went to the Godzilla store and they had the most unexpected collab that I I fell in love with and it is a ham taro and gojira collab so i got these two stickers they're my favorite stickers i should have bought all the different variations they had but i was trying to hold back because i bought this and then i also got this tote bag <laughs> godzi ham kun yep it is a godzilla ham taro collaboration and i love everything about it they also had gotchas and I got this one, this cute ass sleepy Hamtaro in Godzilla's mouth. <laughs> so funny, but an unexpected collaboration that was great. These were the other available ones in the gotcha, but I only tried for one. I wanted to try for the pink and green too, but they're so cute. If you're in Japan right now, go to the Godzilla store. I think it's just in Shinjuku. Hey, so cute. The next two things I'm gonna show are from Tokyo Disney Sea. And the first are these ski ears or mini ears. I wasn't 100% sure that we were actually gonna go to the park. So I didn't bring any ears with me and I just bought these when we were there. These were the lightest ears. I did not want to sweat <laughs> while wearing ears while I was there. So these are super cute. And then I bought this magic carpet bag for my cousin because her favorite movie is Aladdin and I sent a picture of this to her and she wanted it. I also did go shopping at the regular Disney store in Shinjuku and I got this cute little Halloween bag for my niece because it'll be her first time going to Oogie Boogie Fest and I wanted her to have like a cute little candy bag. There's also cookies in here, which I didn't know when I bought it, but <laughs> she could eat these cookies too. I bought my other cousin this flagship Tokyo tote bag. I also bought a reusable bag that I'm gonna give to them as well. Let me just take this one back. This is the reusable bag and it says happy Halloween. So all that's for my cousins and the kids. Another thing that I got from the Nintendo store was this cute Animal Crossing laptop case. The art is so cute. All the little villagers are super cute on here. You know, Goldie, she's on my island. Marshall, the design was super cute so I could not pass it up. And then I also got this guy. I have not seen, I'm calling this a chocolate Kirby because it looks like it's this Kirby on the sticker or the tag. But I've never seen this before, so I had to get him. He's so cute. I love like this random tail or like cloud on his butt. So yeah, I got a new Kirby in the Nintendo store. And then I got another Kirby, but this one I won in the Crane Games. And it says Sweet Pink Ball, which is what Kirby is. My favorite, favorite. Another thing I won in the Crane Games is this axolotl plushie. Look how cute. I named him Otter, the axolotl. First plushie I won in any crane game. I did go to the Pokemon Center and I got a few things. First thing I got was this Jigglypuff figurine. It came with the Jigglypuff, right? And it came with this. Is this gum or am I tripping? Oh, it's candy. Well, that was a piece of candy, but I threw it away because <laughs> I didn't want to eat that. But here is the Jigglypuff. And then I also got this gotcha figurine. Pop and Sweet Collection. So it's very cute and like dreamy. And I thought 
I would like any of the options that it comes with. Let's see what I get. Very cute. I got the Pachirisu, right? An Emolda figurine. Very cute. I'm happy with that. I also really liked the Gengar. Oh, what do they call? Oh, Pachirisu and Imonga in Japanese. But very, very cute. Cute, cute, cute. I also got these two Eevees from a gotcha. That's the downside of gotchas is that you could get duplicates. But the Eevee's super cute. So here's one. I'm just gonna give this other one to a friend. So I won't open that one. I did get some stationary stuff. This is not stationary, but I got this cute Pikachu keychain. It has a Pikachu and a Pichu. I don't feel like opening that right now. And then I got this Jigglypuff. Oh my god, I'm blanking. Notepad. I was like, sticky notes. Also got more like sticky notes, but it's this Pokemon Peaceful Place themed like stationary sticky note kit. And it just has cute Pokemon. Oh, the Japanese names are so cute, but how cute these are. I couldn't resist getting these. So yeah, just more stickies. And the last thing I got was these pixel art stickers of various Pokemons in four sizes. I just thought these looked really cool, so I wanted to get this too. I got these free coasters from the Pokemon Cafe. If you order a drink, you're like eligible to get them. And then Kobe got the meal that came with this one. So we have three coasters <laughs> that are very cute. This one's my favorite. I think that's it from the Pokemon Center. Other random things I got from Don Quixote are these paper theater things. This one is Totoro themed. I just thought it was really pretty. <laughs> I got a Kiki's delivery service one and this is Gigi cat. Also very cute. Then one of our friends from Japan gifted me one as well, which is really nice of her. Good thing I didn't buy the same exact one, but she surprised me with this. Thank you, Minori. <laughs> I found one more thing that I bought from the Pokemon Center and it's just more stickers from the same Poke Peace collection. Very cute. And then I can't remember. I think these are also from Don Quixote. Or are they from the Disney store? One or the other. But I bought these for my niece because she likes stickers and she likes Toy Story. So I'm gonna include that in her pile. And then for my cousins as well and their husbands, I got them some Toy Story socks and then some Aladdin genie socks. These are from Don Quixote for sure. So yeah, that was it. Just a bunch of random collections of things, things from gotchas, things from crane games. I had a good time in Japan and it was really fun. Even though it was the hottest hot I've ever experienced in my life, I could only imagine that I'd have an even better time in Japan in like the fall, the spring, the winter, any time that's not summer. <laughs> because I gravitate towards the cold, you know? The hot is too hot for me. But yeah, I had such a good time in Japan and I have a lot of other footage, like my experience at Tokyo Disney Sea, all the food I ate, and I'm planning on making videos that specifically. And they'll be on this channel too, because this channel is like not only my art, but just my life in general. So I'm gonna have that as a separate video. Anyways, let's move on to the few things that I bought in the Philippines. So funnily enough, I did not go to Muji in Japan. I think at the point where I was in front of Emuji, I had already bought everything else. <laughs> so I was like, mm, I'm running out of money for food. So I shouldn't buy more when I've already bought, you know, all that other stuff. But I did go to Muji in the Philippines previously before Japan and I bought just a couple of pens. And other than Muji, I also went to this store called Fully Book. It was like a huge store. I know it's a chain stationery store but I went to the one in BGC, big corner store, three or four floors, and I actually bought some art books. So I will show you that now. The first are these colorful pens from Muji. I got these because they're erasable. Oh yeah, 0.5 thickness pens, but this cap part is the eraser, so you can scratch the ink off. But I got every color available. Another place that I forgot to mention was Common Room. And this was in the power plant mall at Rockwell. 
One of Kobe's cousin's girlfriends is an artist too. Shout out to Ava. <laughs> I'll have her stuff on here, but she has some of her products at the store. So she wanted to take me there to show me, but I did buy a bunch of other random things at the store. I bought this super pretty crochet needle for my best friend because she likes to crochet. Very, very tiny. There you go. Tiny needle. I bought myself some rose earrings by this artist here. There's all their information. 149 pesos. But roses are my birth flower, so I had to get these. And then I bought this traveling paintbrush. And it's like a super thin pine brush, which I thought would be nice for outlining and details. This one was kind of expensive, but you could travel with it. And then I also got this art print. And here's the artist. Daria type. So it's like a cyanotech blush print. I'll double check that, but I thought it was super pretty. So that was from the common room. And then from Fully Booked, I got two books. The first is this one. And this one is The Art of Josie Shimazaki. And I did not know this artist before. Oh, oh it comes with an art print. I didn't even know that, cute. That'll go on my wall too. That is one book that I got from Fully Booked. And then the second is another illustration book. This one's actually different. I thought it was the same publisher as the illustration 2023, but this one's illustration file. 2022. So it's a similar format, but again, just more art inspiration and people to follow. Very happy with my Philippines purchases too, but that's pretty much all I bought in the Philippines. Nothing else really. Just relaxed. Just walked around. Just hung out with family. It was nice. <laughs> so those were all the things that I got from Muji and Fully Booked. But I did buy some other Pasalubong for my friends and like their kids from like Uniqlo and stuff. But unnecessary to show. It was a Studio Ghibli Uniqlo collab. So I bought some of the stuff from that for friends and family. But other than that, that was all I bought on my trips to the Philippines and Japan. And if you are going to... Japan. I hope that this inspires you to spend a lot of money. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I hope that if you're going to Japan and you visit any of these stores, let me know. Or if you are in Japan right now, have been to Japan and visited these stores, if there's anything you've bought, I'd love to know because I'm nosy. Oh yeah, I had a good time both in the Philippines and Japan, but I'm happy to be home and I have a ton of stuff to do the month of September for my art studio because I'm planning on starting my Patreon in October. So hopefully you look forward to that. And again, we'll have the links to the stores down below, the ones in the Philippines as well. And if there's anything else you guys want to see for me, let me know. I'm trying my hardest not to fall asleep, like right now. I mean, I could take a nap, but I should just like stay up for as long as possible because I have work tomorrow. But I'm feeling it, Mr. Krabs. I'm feeling it. But I just wanted to share everything I got and hopefully it was interesting to you and helpful in some kind of way because I bought all of these things or won all of these things and I had a good time and now I am so happy because I have so much stationery. <sighs> <laughs> But thank you guys for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye.